Hi guys, this is Anton from Randfontein. Can you see the bad news? My skrull is gone. I'll send you the statement tomorrow. I'll spend some time to explain to you what happened on the statement. On that cattle that you saw last week, I did not slaughter one single A1 or a A0, not one. I only slaughtered A2s and I think two A3s and four ABs. Now ABs is normally when your cattle change front teeth and that means that it stayed too long in a kraal. That means it was too old when I bought them because they take uh, 90 days in my kraal. <coughs> so they, uh, it's important to, the only way that you can see that the cattle is aging, it's getting old from on an auction point of view is on horns. You see this cattle standing here, the horns already long. You must try to buy cattle with short horns, short, 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 like this one lying here. Nothing bigger than your fist. Anything bigger than your fist means it's already starting to age. You see this cattle here, the horns are still short. You need something with short horns. Now this kraal got a lot of bones, uh, Brahman inside. This is my next kraal. My oldest kraal now. But here's a lot of uh, Brahman, mixed Brahman. There's one Charolais. Yes, a nice Brahman, Achbons Mara, see this brown one? Now you can look at that Brahman, that Bons Mara, in a month from now what it's going to look like. Please remember that, that but. See, there is another one, but the frame is small, this one's frame is not so big. But it will grow, you will see how it will grow. <coughs> There's another one. That white one there is Ramagnola. Ramagnola is a very good feeder. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's after Bonsmara. But I, I had a Ramagnola uh, lot. They feed very well. Charolais, Brahman. Yeah, there were some questions that the guys asked. That I want to try and answer. A lot of people ask, shall I take out, cut the, the bull to make them an uh, ox? My honest opinion is never do that. The only time that I cut the bull is when, is when I don't want him to work, when he's bothering my cows. I don't cut bulls for, for feeding. Nothing, not one of those bulls are cut. They all, they all can work. Every single one of those bulls that you see here can work. Not one of them are cut. So that's my honest opinion. You don't take cut the bull. If you cut the bull to make him an ox, it put him back three weeks, three to four weeks to get healed. And if the bull is sick or an ox is sick, it doesn't grow. The second that the cattle is not perfect, perfect healthy, it doesn't grow. See that one lifting his nose up. That's the way that, uh, that the, a bull check if the, the next cattle is on heat. I don't know what he's checking because this is a bull standing next to him as well. But that uh, you always see in a crawl when they smell each other's urine, especially when he's urinating. They'll taste it and they'll and they'll in that urine he can taste whether that that cow standing next to him is either a bull or a cow and he can taste whether that animal is on heat ready to take bull look this uh, dark bonsmara here another thing i want to explain to you i see on uh, youtube there's a guy that's feeding in zimbabwe his kraal is mixed he got cows and bulls and calves and everything together it's really not clever. You're gonna definitely pay on, pay on performance. The only reason why is this bulls that's lying here. Every single one of them are ready, ready for a cow. They're ready. They, if a cow come in here, they'll physically rape her. They will, 
They will, every one of them will take a go at her. She will die in this girl. Um, I had that before, where they put a, a female animal in here by, by mistake, where they physically chase her around and chase her around that she die. Now you, you on a feedlot, I try to only feed males. Now when your feedlot becomes big, it's not possible. So I got some females there in the bottom, right there in the bottom, I got some two female crawls. But this crawls here in the top, I only feed males. Um, the reason why is I don't want to give this bull any reason not to concentrate on growing. He must, that's his job now. His job is to grow. Not to chase cows, not to be nervous, not to be worried, not to be sick. He must be in perfect health and his whole mindset must only be to, to grow. The second that you put the, that you put a female and males together, you will definitely lose on growing. And the other thing I want to tell you, don't mix your, don't mix your, uh, your cattle every now and then. When you have your cattle packed together, this is 55 bulls in this kraal. When you have them together, just keep them together. There's already a pecking order. They know who's boss. They know who's number two in charge. They know everything. So this, if you put a new four new cattle in here uh, and you add them in, um, they must form a, create a new pecking order. And the second that they want to create a new pecking order, it's a half day of chasing around that, uh, that they're not going to spend their mind on feeding. And that's not what you want. You want them to, to take their whole mind on and put it to to growing. You don't want them to uh, take their mindset off growing. They must start creating new pecking order. So don't mix male and female. The, the, the bulls, to my opinion, are better growers. So if you can choose rather to feed bulls. The problem with female cattle